Both Tor and VPN are made to protect you online. You've probably heard that before, but the question is, between Tor versus VPN, which is more beneficial? And by that, Carlos means which is more secure. Precisely, John. So let's not mess around and go figure out the Tor versus VPN difference, benefits and drawbacks of these cybersecurity options. Right, so to understand the difference, I'll quickly explain how each works. Virtual private networks use tunneling protocols to encrypt your connection, preventing anyone from accessing it. They substitute your IP address with a fake one, preventing you from being tracked. To do that, they transmit the data through the secure VPN servers. Okay, so then what is Tor or the Onion Router? To have Tor explain, I have to say that it's quite similar to a VPN. Just instead of using dedicated servers, Tor network employs consenting users acting as relays. Your connection will be sent through multiple of those layers, each time getting additionally encrypted. Now, if you're wondering is Tor better than VPN, it's not an easy question to answer. Essentially, Tor acts like a VPN, but with more steps and as a result, stronger security. Is that so? So you believe that the security of Tor versus VPN is on a higher level? Well, it's less of my belief and more of a fact. With so many nodes involved, you're getting crazy levels of protection while moving between nodes. There's just one downside that is not the question of can you trust Tor? It's can you trust each of the Tor's nodes? Since your data passes through other users and even gets decrypted at the final node, it's a bit risky. On the other hand, your data is encrypted on all nodes other than the exit one. And nobody will be able to locate the exit node other than by sheer luck. Mm, I don't know, relying on luck is not very secure, won't you say? <laughs> for me, there's no question between using Tor versus VPN for anonymity. Considering that the latter encrypt the entire connection, Furthermore, encrypted or not, Tor nodes could potentially get their hands on your data. With VPNs, especially those with no logs policies and RAM-only servers, that would be impossible. Not only is your data not logged, but it physically can't be kept on VPN servers. There are already multiple providers like NordVPN, ExpressVPN, or Surfshark that has this technology. Furthermore, VPNs are usually paid, meaning they have resources that they can invest back into their products. We can see that in providers that started adding advanced malware and threat protection like NordVPN or Surfshark. That said, using Tor versus VPN is also a valid way to boost your security. So if you have wondered, should you use a VPN with Tor or not, I'd vouch for that. You're right. And as much as I hate to admit, there's a bigger Tor versus VPN difference to consider. This time, I'm talking about performance. Since the data is passing through so many intermediary nodes, your speed goes down extremely hard. Plus, since your nodes are choosing randomly, your connection could be circling the planet a couple of times before getting to the endpoint. That's straight up impossible with the VPN, if I remember correctly. I mean, you can still choose a very distant VPN server and end up having a slow connection. But yeah, that's the big benefit of VPN versus Tor browser, the ability to choose the server you will connect to. What's more important to me is the application of this speed. For instance, I can use a VPN to access a variety of geo-blocked content, from streaming platforms to gaming servers. This means I need good speed to watch or play without lags and buffering. It's a pain to admit, but the Tor browser versus VPN in this case is missing this benefit. A lot of websites, including Netflix, are capable of detecting Tor connections and blocking them. Even if that wasn't the case, not having control over the nodes means your exit node can end up in a different country rather than that you have in mind. This makes using Tor for streaming virtually impossible. That said, there's a big strength from the Tor browser versus VPN this time. It's open source and completely free. You can even contribute to other users' experiences by volunteering to become a node. That's fair, and I personally do prefer a good free service, but with VPNs, it's often not possible. 
Security research, server maintenance, and all that jazz require a lot of money. That's why most VPNs cost a pretty penny. But it doesn't really mean VPNs can't be affordable. There are often good deals and discounts you can use. Yep, you can check updated discounts in this description of this video if your favorite VPNs over Tor. And they probably would. After all, VPNs mm -hmm. are available for almost all platforms and are easy to use. It usually takes no more than a couple of clicks to choose a server and establish a secure connection affecting the entirety of your device. Yeah, Tor doesn't have that luxury. It's still very easy to use, but the Tor connection is established through the Tor browser and only affects the browser itself. That's a big discrepancy between the Tor browser and VPN right here. To summarize, Tor is a foolproof tool guaranteeing a high level of security and privacy. On the downside, you are forced to pay for it with your speed and inability to choose the exit relay of your connection. It's also incapable of providing access to geoblock content. A VPN, on the contrary, is capable of accessing geoblock content, can provide a high degree of security and privacy, and is generally much faster than Tor. However, VPN providers are often pricey and it's hard to immediately find a good VPN that suits your needs. And which service between Tor versus VPN do you prefer? Let us know in the comments. And if you have any questions about the difference between Tor and VPN, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching this Tor versus VPN comparison and we will see you with another video. Bye, John. Bye.